so we'll just go through the system administrator and application developer activities um, so let's go to the application and i think uh, uh, as you are from your oracle apps background so i know like what is an uh, user function but i'll just give you an overview okay let me go to system administrator so i'm just opening some form so this is our system administrator so yeah. we will see like so okay. initially whenever we need to do any functional setups and all the thing is like we will ask the client what are the different responsibilities that we need to create because if at all the client says that okay we have four typical users where each user try to access unique set of forms not the same forms they all try to access um, the core hr activities but unique set of forms okay then we need to create four different responsibilities and in each and every responsibility we have to see what forms that uh, individual users are going to use and that forms we need to club together using your menus okay okay so first where you will go you will go to application you will go to menu and then you will give a name you will give some user name what user menu name and here you are going to pull your uh, uh, functions uh, or you are going to pull your sub menus for example let's say first user is going to access only people management and salary management so no other forms uh, can be access to that person then we are going to add the sub menu called as people management and salary management we can add it as a function and then that uh, that menu we have to attach to a particular responsibility so where we can directly go to your security responsibility define and then we will give the name application so anyways we are going to create responsibilities uh, whenever we start our core richer but i'm just giving you an over okay so we give a name application responsibility key uh, so standard as your data group and in this menu area we are going to assign that menu here and then this responsibility we are going to assign to this particular uh, user like uh, uh, we have we have to create a new username if the username exists then you can assign a responsibility directly if it doesn't exist then we have to create a new username and we have to attach that employee record here and then we can assign this responsibility and save this so then you can just um, uh, provide that user details uh, to that particular person where he will uh, you will send the url the username and the dummy password once uh, he logs in for the first time so he will log, uh, he can change the password and then he can start um, um, like doing things uh, using that particular thing so that is where your uh, user responsibility and menu will come into picture and the other concept we have is something like your concurrent program and concurrent request so this concurrent program is nothing but it can be either a report or it can be either a process process is again something like process is something like an already the standard process is given by oracle for example if it's a payroll run so that payroll run program is given by oracle where they have done things uh, in the back end and then they are trying to provide us with a name where we can directly go and run that particular program so that some action uh, happens in the back end and then it provides us with some certain results so that is something like an internal program that we can do and that is the, that is the standard process given by oracle but whenever it comes uh, saying that uh, you have to create any program like in terms of a report for example your uh, client says that okay uh, develop a new report uh, uh, related to the employee salary details reports and then he will give you some columns and he will give you some conditions and then he says that okay this report should be assigned to certain users then what you do you first try to create you go to a report builder or any discoverer or a, a bi publisher you try to just design that report and you attach that report here in terms of your program so you come here you create an executable in that you will attach that executable here give a program name and then give the parameters and all to this and then you uh, attach this program to an request group okay and where that request group is there go to security responsibility request okay you try to create a group if at all you want to assign it to an existing group you can do that or you can create a new group with the application and you can assign that uh, report here and you can assign this uh, request group to your responsibility okay uh, so this is all related to your concurrent programs uh, sets and 
and one other thing is your profile options so this profile option is something like again it is kind of an seeded um, uh, things that are given by oracle for example it is again something like a process that acts in the uh, background okay for example let's say i i'm going to open um, one form so this is just like an example so i'll say i am opening a responsibility human resources vision enterprises and i opened one employee form so this uh, enter and maintain is just used to either uh, uh, like like query for an uh, existing employee or hire a new employee whatever it is now whenever i open this i get to see a, a small uh, uh, dialog box that is coming up here which is something like a creation box and it says do you want to uh, uh, change like you want to change the effective date or you want to keep it is i'll say no and then i'll start Uh, hiring and all so every time this particular uh, box opens for each and uh, like for each and every user okay now let's say like uh, uh, or else it is specific to a particular user now let's say uh, it says uh, my now my client says that uh, see danish like this is being a very irritating task like every time this dialog box comes up so i don't want this dialog box anymore so that it should not come it should directly land to this particular page when i click on it okay so these are some kind of an processes or these are kind of an standard uh, things that are given by oracle and you can always set these things at your profile option level whether it is a security or whether it is something like in dation boxes or whether it's something like in uh, some some processes you can do that at your profile options so in this case what i'll do is i as i know that there is a control for this in your uh, profile options so i'll go back to my system administrator and i'll go to my profile go to system and here um, i will just go for my um, let's say responsibility or i'll say user um, and then i'll just query for my operations and then here this is something like um, date track enabled so this is uh, like the name of this and here uh, i can see that uh, date track enabled is there at your uh, user level okay so that this is set up at your user level operations user date track enabled uh, okay so this is i'm not going to have anything as a value here yeah so this is where it is so date track reminder okay so this is where this is set at your operations level saying that uh, this always pop up warning window so that is the reason this is popping up warning window so what i can do is i'll say never pop up warning window so i'm just giving and i'm closing this particular condition saying that should never give up and then i will save this and now if i go back to my uh, vision operations human resources vision enterprises and if i go now it will directly land into this particular page not asking me any dation box and all so that is where your profile options or profile things will come into picture and for our hrms we have certain set of profile options that we need to uh, take into control and that profile options i'll tell you whenever uh, we will deal with your core hr or any other modules like um, uh, any other things that we are discussing but the main functionality of this profile options or this profile things are something like you need to set this to control certain activities okay so not only here if at all you say um, okay if i say the name as john and let me search for any employee here so okay this guy is an employee so here uh, he has got some uh, social security number here okay and this uh, ssn number can also be controlled by your profile option that means if you say that you don't remember uh, uh, providing the correct format and you say that whatever the format i try to give it it has to accept and all then there is an profile option called hr national identifier validation so in that validation if you keep no validation then whatever the format you give whatever the number you give system will try to accept if you say error on validation then uh, if you give the wrong format then uh, this will throw an error so this validation will happen so it is not only on the screens but also on the forms we can also on the forms and the fields we can try to put some conditions using your profile options and okay let me go back to your system administrator 
and one thing here is when you come back to your profile options we have these as the levels in our uh, thing like site level application responsibility and user being a functional or uh, technical person you will deal with only these four levels we don't with, uh, deal with server or organization level because this is mostly deal with your um, dbs okay so when it comes to your site level this is always the top level and the overriding level whatever you do at site level will be overrided throughout the instance and if you go to your application level this will override your application that means applications like we have uh, uh, hr we have uh, payables we have general ledger we have payroll we have time and labor these are all your applications if you want to reflect anything at a particular application level then you have to provide your application here and responsibility again whatever the responsibility that we try to uh, create is something like your um, uh, responsibility level that means let's say i want to do it only at a super hrms manager or i want to do it only at payroll manager then you choose the responsibility and you set the profile option so that that will be done only for that responsibility and only for that particular user okay and when it comes to the user it is always the lowest level and this will be always reflected on a particular user not to any responsibility or not to any other level so these are the four levels that we have and highest level is always your site level which is your overriding level and always lowest level is always your user level so basically what do you mean by the site level site level means let's say uh, if i try to set any profile option here at site level so that will be reflected for the complete applications for all the modules like all the applications let's say i have done at your uh, hr uh, administrators the same thing like i'll say day track okay i have day track uh, reminder so if i set the value at my site level like if i say always pop up then this value will be reflected for all the modules so all the users all the responsible that means throughout the instance this will be effective wherever whichever is an uh, date effective forms for all that forms this will be uh, reflected this uh, dialog box will open for all the forms so how okay. will you identify like like uh, which particular form is like date enable so you whenever you open any form you have an effective start date and effective end date at the bottom okay like irrespective of any module like supply chain financials hr whatever it is you have effective start date effective end date if that is if you have both the fields then that is a date effective form okay okay so if you do this particular level even not only this you do it at any any other uh, profile option also for example you go to hr business group as a profile option for that also you can if you set that at uh, site level then every the complete instance will be effective at the uh, complete instance level okay so that is your site level and if it is like application then specific to an application only to hr or only to time and labor or only to learning management specific to an application if you want so to it, be very specific to resp yeah so it means that that particular profile option will be applicable only to that application right correct correct okay 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 so the same concept if you want to reflect that for only one particular user then you have you can manage that at your user level okay okay so that is your uh, profile options so what all we have functions forms concurrent programs request to responsibility security profile users messages again it, this comes under your application uh, uh, this thing so if you go back to your application developer okay so when it comes to your uh, messages and all you can go to application you have messages so if at all you want to just create any uh, like if i say f11 so there are multiple messages that are given by oracle but if at all you are creating any report or you want to do some validation in a particular form and then if there are the validation goes wrong you want to display some message and all you can come here and you can create your own messages and link this messages to that form customization so that uh, that so small message box or station box will be coming up okay and uh, coming back okay so flex fields descriptive value sets this is something like an uh, bigger topic so what we will do is we will connect tomorrow whenever uh, we see this particular uh, because this is something like you have multiple uh, descriptive flex fields and the key flex fields and then we will try to create each and everything with an example so that it will be clear for you and we'll also see the concept of lookups so what about this like messages like i mean where exactly this is like used so messages is something like if at all you want to uh, 
let's say your client told you saying that I want to do a form customization. Let's say there is a field and you if you enter the exact uh, uh, like value in that particular field, it should accept if you don't enter any field like let's say take an example of a date format. You did not enter the correct date format then a message should be displayed saying that you have to enter the date format in this way like DD MM YYY and all. So this is something like a custom message that uh, not Oracle that and, uh, you have to display that okay as an uh, uh, implementation consultant you have to display that for a particular uh, uh, form customization or field customization in that case we come here first uh, uh, write the message like uh, like create a message and when we go to that particular form then there we will try to customize the form and pull this message into that form saying that this is how we need to display or uh, this is uh, this is the field value that we need to give the date format in this way and all so that is just like a very uh, simple thing where if at all you want to pull this particular message in any form customizations or anything then you can use that and there is also other thing like um, if at all you write any fast formulas in that fast formulas also you can display messages and whenever the user runs anything and then there needs to be a message shown to him then that will be shown through your uh, messages.